was ever possible. Never. Considering how much I love you, worshipped you, devoted my life to you, only to have you turn out to be the biggest asshole I ever met. You were the one that always made me feel guilty for even looking at another girl. Oh, she's only a friend, honey. Right, you dickhead, all the while you've been sleeping with her, you miserable lying creep. You always made me feel like the miserable one. Well, guess what? Sweetie Pie, you're the miserable one. Always playing the victim. Oh, poor little me. Maybe you're right. I can't say these things to you in person, Polly baby. But you better take this email seriously because I am tired of being your doormat. And in closing, you slime ball, I just want to say, drop dead your loving ass. Well, no matter what names you call me now, I'm done. Worse than a charred black Angus steak. Susan, there's a YouTube video. Cool. Are you watching with me? Yeah. No? Yeah? Okay. Well, Ash, did you do it? It's finished, Lindsay. Mr. Studbud is off to a stud farm, hopefully to get gelled in. Oh, all right, finally. Now, Ashley, no guilt news. You are the true victim of his lying bullshit. If you're ever going to be a prosecutor, you have to learn the guilty when you see them. <laughs> Don't worry, Lindsay. Mine eyes have seen the glory. The only thing I'm going to be sleeping with tonight are my books. Oh, speaking of books, Jason is waiting for me at the library. He said he needs help with his homework. Where, wait, where are you going? I thought you were going to help me with my problem. Duh, I already did, and you won your first case. <laughs> Bye, Ash. Uh, and what about that latte you promised? Oh. He's probably still in the sack with little Miss Collagen while she cheers him on. <sighs> Talk with him. So it's true, you finally benched Mr. Jockstrap? Oh yeah, it's true, all right. Figured you could use a latte after that. Thanks. You're welcome. Come on, Larry, don't be a wuss. Send the freaking email. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> oh, damn it. Jesus, that was fast. What the hell? Let it rip, Lucy. Me? Bullshit! You were the one that cheated on me! Maybe you're right. I can't say these things to you in person. Polly baby. I just want to say, drop dead. Your loving Ashley. Ashley? I don't know any Ashley. Screw it. I want to see this jock sidestep my defense. All right. Let the games begin. Hello. I'm sorry to hear about your problem. <laughs> I'm going through the same thing myself. But I'm not Paul. What? Ah, oh, man. 
Ben, how did I get that wrong? A guy with guy problems. <laughs> oh, screw it. Gay or straight, I need to talk. Larry. I'm so sorry for the mistake. I guess I must have been so upset, I just kind of zoned out. Sorry to hear you're going through the same thing I am, and I appreciate your offer. Well, you know what they say. Misery loves company. Maybe somebody up there thought we were in the same boat. Lord knows the guy's got a twisted sense of humor. <clears throat> I won't bore you with the details because there are a lot. But suffice to say, Mr. Jockass couldn't keep it in his pants. Gotta love the male condition, huh? Women assume that we're all pigs, but I, I'm not. I never had a wandering eye, because if I did, my ex would have clawed my eyes out of my skull. Hmm. Be thankful you didn't get a stalker girlfriend who goes through your trash and sniffs your underwear. Women assume that we're all pigs, but we're really not. We're more like dogs. Just give us a bone once in a while and we'll come running back time after time with our tongues wagging out of our mouth. <laughs> Is it supposed to be a euphemism? Because that was freaking hilarious. Look, you have my email and I can't forget yours, so let's keep in touch and stay strong. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I still can't believe I made this mistake. Maybe it's a sign God doesn't want me breaking up with him. Young, swift body, <sighs> bow, still beautiful as ever. Oh, what a surprise. I was just uh, studying this case I'm working on. If you got a moment, I'd like to talk. I've got a lot of research to do. It's a big divorce case. It's about us. Paul, we've been through this. I love you. You what? Things are complicated, I know, but believe me. Complicated? It's an open and shut case. It was a one night stand. You were in San Francisco with your family. I was feeling lonely. Two days. I was away two days. Two days could be a lifetime when you're in love. You're a vain little Miss Pom Pom. You let your studies get in the way of our relationship. Ugh. I have been there for you 24-7, which is more than what I could say for you, Mr. Aaron Rodgers, star quarterback. Our first game's in a week. I'd love if she came to cheer me on. You've got plenty of cheerleaders. You don't need me. I get it. Later. Ugh. No, you don't get it. But you will, chalk ass. No, not now. I'll do it over the loudspeaker at the game. That ought to tighten your jock strap. Ugh, gotta pee. Hello, good morning. How are you? Hello there. Good morning, guys. How are we doing? I'm doing pretty good. Doing good. Doing good. Good. What can I get you? I'm you go first. Oh, sure. Thanks. Uh, I'll have a uh, white chocolate mocha. White chocolate mocha. And for you? 
I'll take a caramel frappuccino with extra caramel, and uh, a couple of those cinnamon rolls look pretty good. How many cinnamon rolls? Two. Two. No, wait, four. Four? I'm gonna give some to my best bud right over here. Sounds great. Anything else? Muffin or anything? No, no, that'll be all. Mm, ah, what the heck, why not? I'll take one of those poppy seed muffins, too. I'm kinda hungry this morning. Sounds great. So how much do I owe you? It's gonna be 8.15. All right, 8.15 it, 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 oh. oh crap, I forgot my wallet. I'll pay for it. Oh. Uh, how much is it? 8.15. There you go. Awesome, thank you very much guys, here we go. All right, thank you. Janice slowly moves down the hallway, a shadow comes up behind her. She turns to strike. So wait, he didn't even try to deny it? No, the selfish jerk just wanted to remind me that his football season starts next week and he wants me to be there to cheer him on. Wow, the ball's on him. <sighs> Don't worry, Lindsay, I've got a plan. Well, I hope it's better than your first one. So wait a minute, what about this guy Larry that you emailed by accident? It was no accident. I know. One door closes, another door opens. These are signs God gives us. Well, he seems like a nice guy, but I don't think he was sent by God. Well, God provides pigs for bacon, right? Actually, he said men were more like dogs. He had this really witty euphemism. It was really funny. Wait a minute. You said he was witty? With a euphemism? Yeah. Oh, Ash, that's a warning sign if I ever heard one. How is that a warning sign? It means he's some wannabe Casanova who thinks he can manipulate women. I really feel like he's different, though. I mean, he just got out of a bad relationship, too. Oh, the relationship crap. He acts all nice and vulnerable on the net so you get to like him. For all we know, he could be some 300-pound guy living in his parents' basement. Or a creepy pervert with a torture rack. <laughs> Lindsay, I don't think God's gonna send me a 300 pound pervert with a torture rack. Look, why don't you go get me that latte you owe me? You're smothering me. If I want a lecture, I'll talk to my mom. Thank you very much. Mark my words, Ash. He's a perv. <sighs> hey, Lindsay. Hi, Alice. She wants her latte. Yeah. 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 Maybe, uh, maybe decaf this time. So, Larry, you still on? Good to hear from you again. Ashes. I have to ask you a question. Are, are you normal? What do you mean, am I normal? You mean like inhuman? You're not one of those FBI people, are you? Who wants to set up a play date? in an old abandoned barn? No, Mr. Chris Hansen, I won't have a seat. I was just passing by and decided to come in here. No, no, I'm not the spook. My friend Lindsay is just a bit paranoid about internet strangers. I have to make sure you weren't some overweight mouth breather living in her parents' basement. Okay, you got me. In my defense, though, I'll be moving out of my parents' basement next month. But the doc says there's nothing he can do about the uh, mouth breathing. <laughs> so, how's life? Anything better for you today? So you got any big plans this weekend, John? Uh, not much. Uh, just go 
go see a movie, maybe head out over to Universal, hopefully find someone to hang out with. It's pretty cool. Well, me and a couple girlfriends were heading up to San Francisco. There's some like nudist colony thing there. Really? So, I mean, if you know any friends that, you know, want to come hang out, it'll be a fun time. All right. <laughs> Figure summer's coming up, you know, you got to get your tan nice and even. Tan, yeah. yeah. <laughs> as good as they can be for the moment. Oh, God, the worst thing happened to me yesterday. I saw my ex-boyfriend. Oh, intrigue to tell. It was right after we finished online, and all of a sudden that bastard Paul just showed up out of nowhere. What happened? I was gonna tell him to his face all of the things I mentioned in the email I accidentally sent you, but the jackass left before I could work up the courage. You probably would have made a scene. You were the bigger man. <sighs> Is that supposed to be a euphemism? I don't think it applies in this situation seeing how I'm female. Yeah, right. Sure, yeah. I don't know, what are you doing tomorrow night? You do realize that it's Valentine's Day tomorrow night, right? Well, I mean, I could probably pencil you in, I don't know. You know, all women are actually men on the internet. Just kidding. You took the high road. Better? Yeah, much better. That two-timer doesn't even deserve to hear the melodious sound of my voice. So, tell me about your ex. I showed you mine, tit for tat. My ex. She's a jealous witch. There was one time when I told her that when I was young, I thought my sister was the prettiest girl I had ever seen in the world. I was like five years old. She gave me a look that could melt steel. <laughs> I knew a girl like that once. She had a crush on an old boyfriend and she would do horrible things to me, like putting laxatives in my drinks. How shitty is that? I don't know. How many laxatives did you use? <laughs> Paul. No, I'm not going to answer it. My ex was a biker chick. She had her own motorcycle. I used to call her Hell on Wheels. Never to her face, of course. Oh, crap. God, if you can hear me, please don't let her see me. Larry. Baby. Lucy, how did you find me? I mean, what a surprise. Your emails yesterday. You're not trying to break up with me, are you? Emails? Oh, that. That was just a, a, a test of, of a scene that I'm doing for my script, and I just wanted to see if it was believable, so. Oh, God, was it ever. Because <laughs> I was so scared. chocolates with a heart in it, on it. 
No. Now, if you break the hearts of those you love on Valentine's Day, it could be very fatal. Who could possibly be so heartless? I don't know, Larry. Why don't you tell me? Nobody. Mm. Exactly. So if I were you, I would change that script of yours from wife killer to life killer. Because that's exactly what's going to happen to you if you decide to hide from me. And we're not going to do that, are we? No, I don't think so. So don't forget what tomorrow is. It's the showing of the ones you truly love how you really feel. Okay? Got it. Okay. Bye, Larry. Mm. Bye, baby. Don't forget. I won't hide. Forget. I won't forget. It's a scene. We're, we're, we're rehearsing a scene. We'll talk more later, okay? Okay. Bye! <laughs> Here's your latte, sweetie. Thanks, Mother. So, did Larry Boy say anything new? A new message. My God, you will never believe who just reared her ugly head. <sighs> Helen Wells, huh? Who the hell is Helen on wheels? Uh, Larry's girlfriend or something. I told you! I told you he was a pervert! Uh, uh, don't you have to help Jason with his homework or something? Actually, I do have to meet him. I think he's planning something really, really big for me for tomorrow night. Don't you just love Valentine's Day? It's my favorite time of year. Bye, Lindsay. See you later, Ash. <sighs> Larry, are you still there? Still in shock. You don't have to answer this, but how did you two even end up together in the first place? Being a writer made her think that I was an anarchist, which is kind of true. But there's still a lot of rules. Jeez, sounds terrible. <laughs> Once I get wife killer greenlit, I'm on the money side of writing. But there is a meaningful message to my script that I think mature audiences will appreciate. That wives should be killed. Oh my god, this girl. <laughs> Funny. The theme of my script is to be fine with who you are and what you do. You know? And to not let anyone bring you down. You mean the cops, when they find out your wife's buried in a shallow grave. No ashes. It's just an extreme I'm using. Sure thing, Mr. Manson. The name's Norman Bates. <laughs> well... I have to wrap things up here. You have a good day, Larry. And I have one gift especially for you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, hon. Thanks, baby. You really sure and I love talking to you these past few days, Larry. It's really helped me.
I'm not going to put up with Paul's shit anymore either. I'm glad to be of service then. I guess all I have to do now is tell Lucy it's over and I will finally be free of her crap. Oh shit! are you doing here? I have been waiting at home for the past couple hours, <sighs> past couple days. Hi, Lucy. Who's this? Christine. <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't know why you're over Paul's apartment and why you're answering his phone, but I just need you to give him the phone, okay? Hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Don't you dare hi, Lucy me, you asshole. I will take this boot of mine and shove it so far up your turd cutter, your freaking spine is gonna be coming out of that freaking mouth of yours. You stood me up! Paul. Really? <laughs> First it was little Miss Pom Pom, now it's little Miss... No, it's not college and lips. I don't. I don't get it. Like, what is your problem? You've been following me around for I don't know how long, saying that you're sorry and that you want me back, and you do this on Valentine's Day. Do you think you're trying to hide from me, huh? You think you're gonna sit here and hide from me, you little freaking mama's baby? Lucy, enough. I was gonna come down there. Uh, no. Surprise, no. Okay. I, I'm done because you want to know why I ignored you? I was still trying to figure out if my family was right. I was still trying to figure out if my friends were right. They oh my have told me that you weren't worth anything and that I should just break up with you. And I didn't want to do that, honestly. Uh, uh, no, excuse me? No, no. See, you don't interrupt me. Nobody interrupts me. You useless little piece of shit. Shut up, you bitch. <laughs> That's right, this hell on wheels. I called you a bitch because. You're a bitch! Hello? Larry? Ashley? You're a jealous, controlling bitch! Really? Fine. Fine. You think you can just stand up to me, huh? You think you're that big? No. No. You think you're such a big man standing up to me? Me, but you're only as small as that thing that you have in that pants of yours. Well then, why don't you go back to your biker gang and have a nice gang bang and leave me alone. Is that how you feel? All right, hey everybody. Everybody, I got an announcement to make real quick. You listening? Girlfriend, you listening? Big shot over here. Mr. Big Man is horrible, horrible in bed. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Did you guys all hear that? Horrible. I knew it was you when you said the words hell and wills. Ashley! That is me. I, I can't believe it. Have you been here this whole time? Uh, yeah, I mean, this is where I hang out. And... Me too. Um, only I, uh, I've been to like every Starbucks in LA, but she just keeps coming up and interrupting me in the middle of writing and... Start her own scene. Yeah, and embarrasses the hell out of me, so you... You get why I was, what I've been writing about. <laughs> oh, it was way better in person. So are you gonna be okay? Yeah, uh, I should probably check to see if my brake line's intact before I leave, but I think I'll be <laughs> fine. I should ask the same about you. Oh, you know, it feels good when you let go and let God and... Wow, I really did it. We did it. We did it. Um, I've been meaning to ask you, would you like to get a coffee and 
maybe sit down and talk sometime soon? Well, we happen to be in a coffee shop. Right. Well, okay. Can I introduce you? I, can I interest you <laughs> in a Valentine's Day coffee and a peppermint chocolate fudge heart? I thought you'd never ask. Oh, one problem. What? I'm a latte girl. I'm a triple espresso guy. Perfect. Uh, maybe I'm old fashioned, but uh, a movie quote comes to mind. Which one? I think this could be the start of something big. Yeah, me too. Latte for her. Triple espresso. Proud of you, Ash. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you too.